Hi folks and welcome back to some more Ultimate General Civil War. Today our Union Army is going to, uh, well, rendezvous around Hanover Courthouse and intercept a rebel force that's moving to attack our right. This is part of the, the Union forces moves to the, uh, well, to the Peninsula Campaign and the battles around Richmond. I don't think this is an historical one, this, this particular encounter, but it is in a very historical location that was fought over a lot. The next two battles, Seven Pines and Gaines Mill, are going to be considerably bigger than this one. So let's see what we get. So we've got the first corps going into battle today. A rumor from a Virginia civilian says that a rebel force of 17,000 is moving to Hanover Courthouse. Our scouts estimate the enemy's strength not exceeds 6,000, but it's still a cause of concern. That force could move southwest and outflank our right. We won't see all of first corps in. We couldn't fit them all in the battle. You must advance and deal with that threat. Our main army needs to keep pressing the rebels towards Richmond, so you can have no more than one division. One division? Okay. That's uh, interesting. We spared some more detachments, and they're on the way to join you. I may only get to place one division in this. Defend your position at this meeting point. After you merge your forces, you'll be able to proceed to Hanover Courthouse. I'm mostly looking forward to the next two battles. They're going to be great. We cannot afford extensive losses before our attack on the rebel capital, so you must be cautious. Good luck, General. Well, we've got most of the First Corps in there. Actually, no, we haven't got most. We've got some of the First Corps in there. We've got Bear Brock's Brigade, Chris Pinkney's Brigade, Jedi's Brigade, Badger's Brigade, uh, plus Frangus's Artillery. And we don't really know what we're going to meet out here. Okay, everyone should be well armed with decent rifles at this. I guess the objective uh, is to take this point here and wait for reinforcements. Right, let's let's move up and cover the flank. Uh, I think I am, I am worried about being flanked over there, so let's put some skirmishes out. I don't want to lose a load of casualties doing this. What are you guys armed with? Lorenz rifles. Lorenz rifles are good enough for this job. And let's make sure we bring the artillery up. And I'm going to position the artillery here to start with. And then let's see what we've got. Let's speed things up a little bit. I'm so looking forward to the next two fights. I, I honestly think they are going to be big. I can't remember what they look like in the game. It's been so long since I've played. We have found the enemy. Pause. Okay, deploy the artillery at uh, this, uh, this line right here. And let's get Frangus's back. Ah, that's, that's me, that's, that's me. I need, I need the, the artillery, please, sir. Can I find you in there? There they are. So let's make sure they are deployed and ready. You're armed with the excellent 12 pounder Napoleons. Right, let's play, let's move on. Let's keep those skirmishes running through. I mean, we're defending in the open field, which is never, never excellent. Jedi's Brigade can put some skirmishes forward. Let's see what we've got. Go and hide in the grasses. And it looks like we've got some dudes over there coming in. It's the 28th North Carolina. Which isn't a brigade name. The 28th North Carolina is a regimental name, and that would be too big for the regiment, but potentially too small for the brigade. So, <laughs> But it adds a bit of flavour to the game, so I don't mind of that. Actually, it looks like that's the 16th North Carolina. I think these are supposed to be brigaded together, but in the game has split them in two to represent, um, just represent the forces here present. Jedi, turn to face. Actually, this is going to be a disastrous charge. A few people have mentioned that the enemy do make some odd choices with their attacks. And yes, that looks like a ridiculously aggressive charge when they should probably have pulled back. Oof, that, that, that took some pound in there. This sort of thing did actually happen in the Civil War. I'm not kidding. Enemy units are, are just brigades on both sides would make what looked like ridiculous attacks in the face of overwhelming odds. Uh, and sometimes it's because they didn't know that there was more enemy present. And sometimes it was because they were ordered to delay the enemy or they weren't aware of what was going on on their flanks and their sides because of the smoke and confusion in battle, because of the terrain, wooded terrain, you might hear stuff off in the distance. Uh, you wouldn't know who was attacking, who was advancing. Uh, some battles, some battles actually, the enemy 
I keep calling them the enemy. The generals could hear what they thought was thunder in the distance. It turned out to be cannon fire and stuff. And it was sometimes it was mistaken. Sometimes thunder was mistaken for cannon fire, and they went to see, and it was actually a storm. So it was um, a very confusing time. We've got enemies coming on that flank. Right, let's get the artillery right into the middle of this field. What's behind us? We've got skirmishers behind us. I better put. We'll put two lots of skirmishers behind. Badger's Brigade covering the flank over there. Let's deploy some skirmishers over there. And just get them around like that. Bearbrox Brigade. Come on, move up to the edge of those woods, fellas. Badger's men should be giving a good account of themselves here. It's okay. That's not gonna that's not gonna make any progress whatsoever. If we can, I would like to try and occupy these locations and catch them in the open if they try to charge you there. Why isn't my artillery moving up? I want you to go up there, please. You need to go and start skirmishing properly. We've got a whole brigade getting involved here. We don't want the brigades involved with skirmishes if we can help it. Oof. Badgers, men. Pushing back. Okay. This is... We are surrounded. This is not good. Turn that damned artillery round right now. And get shooting. Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. Skirmishers, move. They've stopped right in front of us. They're just dressing their lines. They're forming up. Badger's Brigade. Well, Badger's Skirmishers are having to pull back. Yeah, we, we're in a quite he hotly contested location here. When these guys fire, there's going to be some pain inflicted over here, I can tell you. There we go. Bear, bear Bok. I can't say that without... I want to say Bear Brock every time. Damn it, man. Can't you change your name to make it easier for me to pronounce? Come on, artillery. They're in, they're in very close range there. Boom. Okay, that's, that's being effective. There's a whole other brigade over there. There's two whole of the brigades over there. The skirmishers are approaching from this side. Shoot them. Get in the flank, get in the side over there. You just move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move them out of the woods. I feel like that's just bait. Those skirmishers have been driven off, that's good. Take the building, you're just gonna be there to uh, to occupy the enemy. Um, actually, form up alongside the artillery down here. Oof. We are partially blocking our own artillery. Over on this side, Badger's men are putting up a really good fight, and the skirmishers are doing great as well. Just holding the enemy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This, this is where it could get a bit ropey. I mean, we should be fine. Oof. Face full of lead. Right, the artillery's definitely seen them off. <laughs> yeah. I think we got them. This is one of those really confusing fights where the enemy can come from any side. And these, these sort of fights did take place, as usually as part of battles. Battles in the wilderness, um, which was they were fought over twice actually, 1863 and 64. Uh, it was a place in northern Virginia. It wasn't called the wilderness; it was known as the wilderness. It was a heavily wooded area with roads going through. Uh, they were both Battle of Chancellorsville first, which we'll probably see in the game, and the wilderness in 64. It's called. They were both very, uh, very confused. So I'm going to have to go and deal with that. Okay, I have. I see more enemies moving over that way. Just redeploy a little bit to that side. Ah, I see. I see what we have over here. Guys, occupy that. I've got my artillery right in the middle of everything. Luckily, the enemy 
I don't think are strong enough to really push this. Yes, we've got the rest of it. We've got the Frisian volunteers. They're going to come through the woods. I'm going to move them on the double. We've got Blake's brigade. Again, on the double. Deploy skirmishers as well. And you're going to go that way. And we've got Ben's battery of rifled guns. Long range rifled guns. We're going to set them up over here. That's going to be perfect. Who's this? Straight through the centre, I think. Skirmishers out. These skirmishers are going to fall back, but the artillery should hopefully see them off. And this lot approaching from the other side should definitely see them off. Okay, Blake, to that side. I think we're going to be okay now. St. McCrackens have turned up. I wondered who it was. Chase those, uh, chase those grey bellies out of that wood. Okay, we should be in a fairly solid position now. Let's bring the Frisian volunteers over. Ben's battery getting engaged at distance at the moment, but that's fine. Okay, we have to capture the meeting. This is the meeting point, isn't it? We don't have to capture anything else. That's good. Bring the artillery up to where it can be far more effective now. We're just chasing those guys off. I don't think that's an issue. Right, we've got three brigades coming up. Let's go. Let's let's move forward. Supported by artillery. And now, by the Frisian volunteers. Jedi's skirmishers have done a good job. They can move to the flank. You guys can move to that side. We're kind of getting involved a little early. Let's get some eyes over there and get Blake's brigade to the edge. Are we still good over here? Let's make sure. Let's make sure that um, Badger and Bear Bok are shooting away over there. Okay, it's crunch time. Oh, we found some more soldiers down here. But I don't think it's a problem. St. McCracken's are going to come up just to uh, secure this area. And Ben's battery can move down there. So this, this has been a minor engagement. Certainly. It's not been a huge bloodletting. At least, not yet. And I think we're going to be okay. Who are you armed with? The Springfield 1855. A fine vintage, sir. An excellent choice. Okay, we have we have enemies coming in. Move to the woods. I'm just going to hold that flank over there in case anything does come back. Two brigades coming back. Okay, that's interesting. Let's get the Sun Kraken back in quick. <laughs> I mean, I think these this attack is doomed, but. Move in, move in. Everybody get engaged now. Ben's battery's moving slowly through those woods. I think we just need to get you engaged, son. Get, get fighting. This is okay. I'm gonna move into where I can, actually, let's, let's really, let's give those guys a real headache. Oof. North Carolinans coming there. Right, okay. We've got a much better position down here. Hopefully casualties won't be too bad. We have rifle guns going in there. You, you can't shoot. Oh, you were shooting over there. Interesting. So the rebels might try and push this. I don't think they're going to have anything else to come with us. You just go back and sit in the woods. I said sit in the woods. We're not bears. Ok, 
gonna have another go, I think. Oh, I do feel bad sometimes enemy marching back up. But yes, the AI in this, it's not that it's bad. I think a lot of the times they make aggressive pushes into combat because they may be armed with inferior rifles to me, so they've got maybe smoothbore muskets, as we've seen from what we've captured. And so they charge in because that would negate the, the range and accuracy benefit that I would have. So that might be why we see some of these aggressive movements. Uh, also, this was this was Civil War combat, especially early on. The charge was the most important thing, although they tended to charge and then shoot at very close range. Um, I don't know how often bayonets were actually crossed. It's like the Napoleonic Wars. The enemy would normally break. Well, one side would normally break and fall back before it came to sticking bayonets at each other. Apart from when you're attacking defensive positions, as in like trench works, buildings, walls, stuff like that, then that might be a different matter. Okay, uh, looking at what's coming, I think we're going to bring Blake's brigade over. Um, I can get, I can get. Oh, we're, we're short of ammo over there. Let's go and fix that. I'm just going to bring a brigade back over there. So I think we're in a position where we can probably chase these guys down. These guys look like they want to surrender. Not much you feed. You need to get somewhere where you can actually shoot a bit better. Let's bring the artillery up over there. Not a lot of kills for Ben's battery this time. They arrived fashionably late. I mean, I... C oh, hang on. No, okay. I'm a bit premature. We'll bring them forwards. Occupy the woods. That will do. Although I don't... The enemy are actually going to make another push. We only have to do it for another 8 minutes and we're good here though. Do we want to go for it? Do we want to charge them in? Try and break them? I think we do. Ready. They fired. Charge now. Oh, I clicked fall back. <laughs> oh god. Hang on. Fall back that way. I want to catch these guys as they're trying to cross there if we can. Meanwhile, down south. The enemy still has considerable forces down here. Right, which is that one's charge. We can finish now. I'm going to play on a little bit longer and see if we can't get some... See if we can route these guys from the field all together. May as well be moving at the double quick to get in there. Jedi's men are going in. Can we get the 18th North Carolina to surrender? We can certainly route them, which is good news. And they have indeed surrendered. Excellent. Let's make sure they just move around there and don't get recaptured. Oh, those guys have run off. Right, Badger, have another go at that. Charging into close combat. They're reloading. Are they going to get a volley off? They didn't. So we should be able to dispatch them pretty quick. This is probably unnecessary taking casualties like this, but... Come on, guys, come on, it's, it's time to pile in now. Jedi's Brigade have done their bit by capturing some North Carolinian soldiers. Here come some more. We've only got skirmishes facing them. At the moment. Time to get people involved, I think. Oh my god, this is this is turning into a bloodbath over here. And it's hard to tell who's actually winning. This this is This is this is not good. Uh, let's let's move some skirmishes up. And let's move another brigade up to come and help. A bit of support. I think I might have overdone things a little bit. I think it's time for the Frisian volunteers to show their true colours. To show their worth. Oh, well, the enemy are fleeing now. 
I don't think we'll chase them across the map, but I would, I better, we better see this out. Oh, we've won. It's okay. We didn't take horrific casualties, but it certainly wasn't a, an easy fight, that one. Can we get that supply wagon? If only I had some cavalry. Eh? Oh, they've surrendered as well. We pushed them long enough. Well done, Badger. So we, we did take some nice prisoners. We should get a prisoner exchange for that. Those guys have run off. I'm just going to see if we can if we can get the supplies. Do we have skirmishes down here? So anyway, let's go and try and head those guys off. The enemy are pretty much beat. I'm happy just I'm happy to let them go. Oh, I say they're beat. Go on then, go on then. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Charge. Before they get off the... <laughs> They're retreating off the map. Can we get him? Can we get him? They don't know where to go. We got him. Excellent. So, with the final retreat down there, I would say we held our ground, we took our positions, and we won. Excellent. So, oh, no, that was a slaughter. Like, six to one. That's... Oh, seven to one. That's a lot of casualties. Um... Hmm, it does look like I am trouncing the AI so far. I like the games. The later battles will be hard. Uh, they're they're going to be harder purposely because I am not refilling the ranks with veterans. I am buying fresh troops all the time. So we won't be the uber three-star brigades at the end, perhaps. We shall see. Anyway, we better get things repaired. So career points. Economy gives us access to more rifles and stuff, right? Uh, reduce the cost of purchasing new weapons. It doesn't give us more, it just reduces the cost of them. That's interesting. Uh, there's politics is just more men and money, which is always good. Army organization, I would like that. I'll definitely take that one. Yes, sir. Also, our reputation as it builds up, it gives our men more morale. This is our fame. But if, you, if we go and have a look, if we go back to this, we can actually go shopping with it. So we can order, we can, we can, we can bank some of our fame, if you like to get uh, more rifles, uh, to get some more cannons. We can get new commanders if we need them, which are sometimes better than the old ones. First division, the ad let's call them the administration officer because we'll think of you guys as the actual leaders of the, of the brigades. But the admin officer of the first division has gone down. Who's actually leading that one? He's a brigadier general. Uh, do I have one? I have Erasmus Keys who could go in, and the rest are colonels. So what you'd do is you would replace the generals here who've been successfully um, the one-star ones. They've been promoted through experience, and they could become divisional commanders, and then we'd put someone new in here. That's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, let, let's do that. Let's replace them with just any colonel. Can I put a lieutenant colonel in? I'm going to try a Lieutenant Colonel. Yes, sir. Oh, that's too small for the command. There's a huge command penalty. Let's put a Colonel in then. Am I spending all my money doing this? There's still a command penalty. Okay. Oh, they're a one-star brigade. They need a one-star general. I think that's how that, how that works, actually. He was there before. Oh, hang on. But it's this, isn't it? It's This is the problem. I'll put, uh, I'll put keys in there because he's actually quite good. That that was the problem. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> so we could have replaced. We could have replaced them with any of those. Never mind, we've bought them. They're, they're in stock for later. We can now add more brigades to our divisions in the first corps, which is great. But let's focus on getting people replaced, shall we? We can go up to 2,000. I don't want to... I don't want to do too much at once because I don't want the stats to drop. I don't mind them staying still. I don't want them to dip into the red. So we'll increase them slowly. I think that's a cool way of doing it. We're having to buy new rifles for this. So let's get them over 1,500 apiece. Keep some of the new stats. The money's going down. The money's going... I don't want the money to go down. There we go. We're slowly going up. Uh, do we have... We have 27 guns in the shop. I'll leave it at that. 
until yeah i'll leave it that for now because it's we'll see we're gonna have to spend a bit getting the and we need to recruit some more brigades so we, we might have to throw some people in here well what we'll probably do is we'll we'll drag them over from the second corps i think we're still still looking for new commanders folks volunteer leave it leave a comment please i'm sure there's enough of you I'm sure there's enough of you uh, let's see, Lorenz Rifles. We actually have some in the armory for this, so this shouldn't be as expensive. Let's try and get people up to about 1600. We'll use the second core, I think, in the next fight, depending on what goes on. We're slowly getting you guys reinforced, which is excellent. Frisian Volunteers saw a little bit of action there. Ooh, oh! There's a melee thing going down there. I'll leave that alone. The Yorkshire Volunteers didn't get in on that one. So we'll leave them as they are. Because they're just into their star there. Neither did Alex's brigade. Blake's brigade did. There we go. We'll put a, put a few in there. Gaining experience. We didn't get the cavalry. And the artillery is as it is. And the second corps. Second corps is good to go. We just need to... I mean, I can start recruiting a third corps. But I don't think there's an opportunity to use them yet. There might be. So what we'd need over here, we've got we've got some infantry, some cavalry, um, and artillery. We could do with another infantry regiment in here. These guys are armed with proper weapons. These won't be. Let's arm them with the Springfield 1842, and we'll do that. And we'll put a colonel in, because we have spare colonels, so that's good. Uh yeah, what we'll do, I think... Oh, there's Clemens Brigade. They didn't get involved, though, so I don't want to lose their experience. The Ohio Outlaws. They look... They're a strong unit. Let's drag them into the first core. And let's also... I've got some... Anyone at one start? Yes, you are. Tolls Brigade. Also into the first core. And I think... It does leave the second core a little bit... Not weaker, exactly. I need another infantry brigade here, don't I? No, I need artillery here. Ah, excellent. So we're going to have a promotion. I'm going to put in there. You guys all have... We have a mix. We have a nice mix. I'm going to put in the Cascade Cannons. So now this, this, this is now a fully-fledged core, really. We've got room for more divisions or more brigades later on, but that's fine for now. And in the second corps, yeah, so we're going to recruit some more artillery there. These are going to be unnamed because I, I need more cavalry, but I don't think we have any cavalry weapons. Actually, let's do that. Let's get Leonidas's brigade of cavalry in there. We're going to have something. Oh, put them in at full strength. Actually, yeah, just... just. What, what actually do we have? There's loads of these in the shop. Do we have 700 of anything else in the shop? Smith's Carbines, which aren't great. And are they expensive? They are expensive. Screw it. There we go. Let's do that. So that was Leonidas' brigade. And we don't have as much use for cavalry at the moment, but we're in now. I think that's everyone on the list. So, folks, we have space for more. We've got artillery. We've got more infantry coming. We probably will have cavalry later. Um... Just let me know in the comments. Leave a message, add your name that you'd like, and we'll get you into the army. So, you're created. We need more artillery there. Let's do this now. Six pound field. Let's let's get these. How big can we go? 24? That's a monstrous looking battery right there, isn't it? Of six pound of field guns, but it's so cheap. We must we've got loads in the shop. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, they're not very efficient. It's too big, I think, for the um, for the commander. I could put a colonel in. I don't want to spend the money. No, it's going to be an inefficient large battery. I like the idea of that. Okay, what I'm going to do is, before the next playthrough, I will just in increase the ranks. We'll get some more recruits in there. And uh, we shall see you next at the Battle of Seven Pines, which was one of... The most instrumental battles of the Civil War for one particular reason, and it wasn't for the outcome of the battle. I will explain more on that one. Until then, I'll see you later.